Veterinarian Sandy Sawchuk is here to take your calls today. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Hi. Sandy. The number is 270-9933. How you doing? I am fine. If I do a little yawning <laughs> while I'm on the air, I just wanted people to know that, that even veterinarians can have problems with their pets. And I have an older dog who's an 11-year-old bulldog who has some dementia. Oh. And this is a common problem in dogs as they get older, and cats as well. And his way he displays it is he gets up and wanders at night oh, and gets no. lost. And then he barks and he carries on. So my husband and I kind of play tag team who gets to miss a night of sleep and who gets to stay with him. And through medication and things, he's doing a lot better. But it just, it's just a big lifestyle change yeah, to really and have an older pet. cats get it too? Cats can too, and they may, again, yowl more and so on and you may see them lose their litter box habits but don't assume that it is that you know just dementia is a problem because we see a lot of medical problems that can result in very similar symptoms like especially with cats hyperthyroidism and bladder and kidney issues can result in the same type of symptoms. Getting old is tough. <laughs> it is, I know. It's not for the faint of heart, I'll tell you that. All right, let's get to the calls. We'll start with Mary Jo in Westfield. Hi, Mary Jo. Hi. Hi, what's your question? Uh, my question is, I've got a 12 and a half year old dog. Aww. She's very healthy. She's about 30 pounds, a mixed breed. And on occasion when she's standing, her back legs tremor a little bit. Mm -hmm. She can walk and run and jump and everything just fine. But sometimes when she's standing still, it's not maybe about 80% of the time her back legs like tremor. Hmm. Yeah, we do see this uh, very commonly in dogs as they get older, and I think it has something to do with the fact that, you know, getting to be 12 and a half, even though she's running and jumping, she probably has some arthritis, probably has some weakness in those legs, and when she just is standing there and maybe overexerting herself, or maybe she just overexerted herself, she did some running and jumping, you can get that kind of tremoring as well. Kind of like me, if I overdo it with exercise, which I don't do enough of, but okay, yeah. Um, I, you know, you can start to get some shaking as mm -hmm. well with your muscles, exactly the same kind of thing. So, you know, be on the lookout for the dog being in pain. I think that's gonna be something that she really needs to be watching for. All right, very good. Let's go to Julie in Madison. Hi, Julie, what's your question? Yeah, I'm wondering, I have a little dog, he's a Morky, and he licks the carpet or things like our bedspread if he's on the bed. And I didn't know if he's deficient in anything. Mm. Well, this is a really interesting uh, problem that you may have because we have just, there was an article that came out just recently looking at dogs with aberrant licking behavior. Not licking themselves, but just licking the environment. And we used to think <laughs> it was just a behavior problem, but what we ended up finding is that many of these dogs had some type of gastrointestinal upset that was causing them to do this type of licking. And so what I would recommend is start talking to your veterinarian about this and maybe consider starting on that road of going down the what I like to call the gastrointestinal extravaganza, <laughs> which may mean looking for parasites, changing diet, lo you know, looking for inflammatory changes, maybe going on some antacids, maybe then going into scoping and biopsying and going down that whole path as well. But there's lots of things that you can try. Mm -hmm. Rule out medical things first. This is probably not a behavior problem. Check, okay. check things off the list. Yep. All right, we'll go to Terry now in Prairie du Sac. Hi, Terry. Yes, hello. Hi, um, which question? Yes, um, I have a 11-year-old Shelby that has developed a nose drip just out of one nostril. Um, we've had him up to the vet um, for teeth um, cleaning and so forth, went to the UW, and they're, they're telling me that maybe the tooth is, um, tooth root is connected maybe to the nose. Mm -hmm. um, and that is, that's very, very possible because those teeth, the roots of those teeth sit so close to the nasal passages, you get a little bit of inflammation or bone loss, it can start affecting the nasal passage. And so I just had a dog in today, one side sneezing and nasal discharge clear from one side. And what we're recommending is that we look into probably getting a CT scan of the skull so we can evaluate the teeth and the roots and the nose at the same time and then go to dentistry if necessary. Or if we see something in the nose, maybe scoping and getting in there and getting biopsies and things taken. Older dog, tumor, mm -hmm. dental disease, those would be the big things that I'd be worried about. All right, let's go to Bob in Poinette. Hi, Bob. Bob, you th I'm not, I'm sorry, Beth in Monroe. Beth, you there? Yes. What's your question? Um, I have a 
two-year-old Pomeranian, and um, he's losing hair. Mm -hmm. uh, he oh. has, I've had him check for um, mites and um, um, thyroid, and that's okay. Yeah. Um, but he's still losing hair, like his back end is pretty much clear, oh. and he's and it's coming up on the sides of him, and I was just wondering what you thought. There is a condition that we do see in Pomeranians. It's very unique to the breed where they do lose all of their hair. And they've been, it's, it's something that is um, often diagnosed with biopsies of the skin. And it may be something that you would want to consider a referral to a dermatologist to have this looked into. There are some treatments for it now. There's a, a drug that they use called Deslorelin for treating these dogs. It's something, it's kind of experimental, but some of these dogs are growing their hair back. All right, I know. Something to look into. All right, we're out of time. Thanks for everyone for calling in. Thanks, Sandy. Hey, You're Sandy. Welcome. We'll see you next time. Get some sleep. Enjoy your snails. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get some rest. We'll be right back with the final check of your forecast.